Now that we've covered global view and the multi device, we can go and create a new design using uh, the single view. Here you'll see the power wall is the best, and that's the uh, design prefix that I that I uh, specified in the settings earlier. So um, that's it in action right there. If I were to click OK, I can start by creating a new media. So let's call this source one. Click OK. And now I can choose the device configuration. So since I'm not in global view or in a position where I have multiple quad goes working together to create um, a single video wall, I can choose to have either a two by two landscape, a one by three landscape, any of these uh, configurations or any combination. So for example, if I wanted a two by two landscape, I wanted a clone um, and I wanted a four by one landscape, I could click OK. So now you see this is my two by two landscape. This is my four by one landscape. And this is my clone mode configuration. If I wanted to create an artistic configuration, I can just go ahead and uh, create a new one. Uh, so now it's called config2, but if I right click and rename, I want to call this artistic config. I can go ahead and do that. And here, let's see, I can go rotate this. I can rotate output 4 and create an artistic configuration that looks a little bit uh, like this. Okay. And uh, here, obviously, I see the physical view, uh, which is in inches in this case, since I changed that in the settings. And I see the source view, which is uh, measured in pixels. And you have many of the same tabs here on the right, so that you have the output settings, the input management, you have the network settings, the device data transfer, and the device management. Once you created the configuration that you'd like to see, you could go to device management, uh, physical device. So I see that my uh, quad head was finally picked up on the network. Um, and this is the serial number of my quad head. When I hover over it, I see uh, some information like the version. So this is a Q155 appliance, which means that it's an appliance with an HDMI input. Uh, I see the serial number, IP address, MAC address, and the firmware version. So if I were to upload this configuration to my device, I could associate my virtual device. So this is my uh, quad to go zero is my virtual device to my physical device and click upload. Yes. So once I do that upload, it will overwrite any configurations that I had saved on my quad to go device. Uh, and if I were to do a download, likewise, that would overwrite any configurations that I had saved on my Powerwall software. Um, so those are just things to keep in mind when you're configuring your quad to go. Thank you very much for listening to this video, and uh, please feel free to reach out if you have any questions or would like more information on Quad Head to Go, uh, the Matrox Powerwall software, or any video wall products in the Matrox uh, portfolio. Thank you very much. Bye bye.